What's up, guys? This is Sheldon. Good. Welcome back to RSE Tutorials. Today, I'm going to talk about something not directly related to iOS development, but we are quite often using it, which is related to JSON. As you guys may face in some scenarios that the backend or the web services are not ready yet, but you have to test something or write some code to consume those JSON services. In this case, we may want to use some local server to set up those JSON and just consume them. So today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a local server to feed us JSON data. As you may guess, JSON local server will require Node.js. Don't worry if you don't know Node. I mean, we do need to install them, but you don't worry if you don't know how is the node or how JavaScript is working. You just need a few tools to install some something that will work for us. So first, uh, we're gonna need one thing that called Homebrew. So if you go to Google and search Mac how to install Homebrew, you will find this link very easily, which is like the homepage of Homebrew. So you just need to copy paste this line and open your terminal. So after you open the terminal and let's uh, make it a little bit bigger. So we can copy and paste this line. After you hit enter, it will require you to enter the password. You just do it. So this will help you to install the homebrew, which is basically the tool that we're going to install next thing. Brew install npm. So what is npm? npm is just stands for node package management or uh, node package manager, which is the tool that we're going to use to install our third party framework that will handle our JSON local server, which is just simply called JSON server. So after we install the npm and uh, I will give you guys this link in the video description so you guys can go to this page and you guys will be able to find some instructions but the first thing you need to do is just copy and paste this line you so we're gonna use npm to install JSON server So running this command line npm install json server, um, I mean dash g json server, is helping us to install this framework that we're going to use to set up the local json services. So to use it is quite easy, I would say. What we just need to do is, let's say you want to build a new folder. In here, you can open your text editor. Um, I mean, you can use text edit, but uh, I prefer to use text wrangler. So you can copy and paste some sample JSON data here. I mean, just save some time. So in this case, obviously, this. Uh, example are valid JSON so you can close your file and save as a database 2 let's say dot JSON so in this case you are naming your um, service as J DB2 right so next step go back to our terminal and simply we can run um, JSON actually the code is here JSON server watch db2.json because we are creating uh, a new file called db2.json actually we are typing the wrong command line yes so there is no space between dash dash and watch and now as you guys can see, actually everything is running in local host 
uh, the port is 3000. So if we open localhost 3000, uh, you can see this page, some welcome information, whatever. If you go to the DB, you will see the real response or the JSON data you are, you are expecting. So you just need to, let's say, we can change the profile to profile um, Sheldon. Yes, so there's one issue now. As you can see, the code, because of the smart code, I mean, it's not smart at all. Um, it changes to this open quote and close quote. Uh, this is not valid JSON. So after you type anything there, you gonna need to change it back to the what the plain quote. So in this case, we are changing it to profile Sheldon, and every time you change your JSON data, it will be reflected. But the thing is, you gotta be careful about any invalid information. If this guy is invalid, and if you save and refresh here, it won't be changed because, uh, let's say, the close quote is invalid, you are saving it, uh, and you re refresh, it won't be changed because it will persist the previous valid information and won't change if the, this one is not valid. But if you're making the close, Quote valid, um, all the changes will be reflected. One thing that I forgot, I really welcome you guys to follow me on the GitHub, and I, uh, I'm already having some followers. But the thing is, every code that I'm writing, I will post them into the GitHub repository. As you can see, I have made a lot of uh, tutorials. So I hope you can download them and find some idea if you need. And also I have uh, working on some self-driving self car things as well. Um, but mainly it's on iOS. Okay, so today uh, this one is a short video. It's not even directly related to our iOS development. But I will say this tool is very helpful when we want to test some JSON data. So leave any comments if you guys like this idea about giving you something that's not directly related to iOS or not. I hope you enjoy this video. I will see you soon in the next tutorial. Bye. Peace.